it's not working. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Three things that is very important. It can help you manifest. First, is it handmade? Second, the timing that it was purchased. And third, is it someone who made it very specific for the intention that you're manifesting? And one of the secrets, is it gifted to you? This bracelet is free and is specific to your sign. More than hundreds of thousands of people get their bracelets from us. Visit our website, find out more at etublove.net. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go where? <laughs> to the beach, okay. No, I think we're going to the beach, okay. Let's go do your reading, come on. Let's see, let's see, okay. Don't forget your Zodiac bracelet, okay. These are free, I'll talk, to, I'll talk more about it in a while. Okay, I bring the energy always. I come here delivering, giving. But why is your life right now not having nothing? <laughs> you have five pentacles here. Okay. What's going on? No money, no honey, Sal. No contact, no communication. Alfresco. It's very cold. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Why? Five pentacles. Well, things has been hasn't been okay since your last upload. I'll upload here every day. Okay. You have a justice card right here. Well, they claim that, you know, things are not doing well right now. It's best that we don't talk. Okay. All right. Let's see, Cancerians. Let's begin. Okay. For the Cancerian. Uh, make sure you check out your previous videos. We are approaching the... These are the May. Oh, yes. This is the May 1 to 7. And I'm just going to move... Okay. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Okay. Okay, Mercury is already direct. That is good. We approve of that message, Sal. But it's still in a debilitation sign in Pisces. So we got to be careful on that one. Okay, but on the May 1st, I'm going to put the calendar here. Let's move a little bit, just a little bit closer. Okay. Let's in the, oh, what's going on? My computer screen just, the chart is dark and blank. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, lock me out as always. So justice card with the five pentacles, settling money. Okay, can be issues with finances, issues in relationship. Um, you're not getting what you deserve. Um, just opening again, guys. Okay, with the justice card can be a Libra. So this is about reciprocity. Just don't want to take your time so much. Oh, the ascendant is in pi is in Cancer right now. The time I'm doing this, lovely. And then we put it into May. Just boot me out because at the time that uh, this is gonna be uploaded, it's probably the weekend or before the weekend okay because um i don't know when they upload okay so i move the calendar um justice with the five of pentacles i see here that okay Ooh, the moon is in capricorn on uh how do you call this on may 1st which is in your seventh house you probably want to reach out the first week of may there's something that you need you know this to the other person seventh house is capricorn so what is something that you need from them money sal they need to pay me, they need, or spending time also. We know the Cancerians love to spend time, you know. Okay, my whole, fami my whole familia is a Cancerian. I myself, you know. Hangman over here with the Ten of Wands. So it's, it's tiring, it's exhausting, it doesn't really, it's not, it's not giving. <laughs> the Ten of Wands here with the Hangman, it's like the, the perspective. For the first week of May, you may be looking at the situation where, how can I make it work? Because you're willing to compromise, right? We have to look at the ruler of your, um, how do you call this, of your seventh house. And Saturn is transiting the eighth, yes. During the transit of Saturn in the eighth, it does bring challenges, okay? Saturn in the eighth, because it will, it will take out some, but it will give something later on. So right now, it's removal. It can be finances. It's really fluctuating, right? Um, with the person, justice card right here. Because um, this is what we call Ashtama Shani. Ashta meaning eight. And then Shani meaning Saturn. So it becomes like this is, in order for you to gain, things has to be taken away. Does it make sense? Have you ever been in a buffet? So the plate has to be emptied and when we get a new plate. So this is the whole transformation that it is known for with regards to the eighth house also. Your natural, natural eighth house is Scorpio, but yours is Saturn. 
uh, ruled, which is Aquarian. Mars is gone already, which is good. So it could be now, okay, things are slowly, very, very slowly for the first week of May can settle. But you have to take uh, take a load off, like, you know, like maybe you're overcommitted with work. Ten of Wands with the Five of Pentacles, you keep saying, yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to pay for that. You know, you're the breadwinner. I'm the bread eater in the family. The hangman over here is how you feel internally and, you know, physically. Stuck, unable to go. There's no closure with the Five of Pentacles if there was a separation. Or if you're trying to work this relationship, you just don't understand. It's like, why? Why isn't it not? Why isn't it? Isn't it not? Isn't it <laughs> okay, working? Okay. Mag notes bleed. This is good. It is sa America. Puro ano English. Okay. Here we go. Queen of Swords. See, I told you it's about cutting, right? Finances, of course, it can become an issue where, let me see, because uh, you can, you probably will start a new, uh, not a new job. Ooh, we're going to get it. Good. You just wait like second week of um, May. Okay. We have Jupiter already um, in your 11th house. Okay. So this is good. Um, as a transit, Jupiter in the 11th is it gives you sustenance. What you need, it will be given to you. So it's going to be there for 12 months. During the time that Jupiter was in the 10th house, it was challenging. But in, when it was uh, during in the night, like two, three years ago, it was good. But now it's going to be good again. So life is really a cycle. Okay. Got a Queen of Swords here. Three of Cups, uh, there's someone that you want to reconcile, of course. Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. Like, I want them to talk to me again. They're going to talk to you because that's a reconciling. Oh, soon. Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups. Oh, my God, that is nice, Sal. Okay. So whoever has left will come back. Well, they were taken out for a reason. Mm -hmm. So from what I'm seeing here also is that there may be some, let's just say, argument with regards to how you want things. So they may go against, like, this is what you want. And then so this is the argument on how we can fix this. Now, both of my parents, of course, they're Cancerians. You only get this good product if you're raised by a Cancerian. I mean, I'm just blessed. I mean, the most loving, caring parents are Cancerian. So I made an amethyst, you know, um, evil eye protective bracelet for them because this is something that can always protect them from, you know, because they're very vulnerable sign. So this is my recommendation. So check it out. I mean, it's, it's available now on our website. So that's one of the arguments that your person is bringing. It's like, how can we fix this? You guys know, like what I was sharing with you guys, is like how much I'm very protective of anybody with regards to Cancerian. And that's why, oh, someone's messaging, they're gonna talk to you, Ace of Wands, quickly, they're gonna do, they're gonna take action. And I just want you to have this as a gift, okay? This is your amethyst, okay? Evil eye, it is gifted, it is handcrafted, like what I mentioned, those are the three things. And the timing that it was purchased is, has to be very important. And of course, we're celebrating our anniversary. When you get your lucky seven, this one, all the seven gems on it has helped me, this is free. Okay, you just add this to your card, and then you scroll it to the bottom, and you choose your sign, which is Cancerian. And of course, the magic of being Jupiter going to your um, 11th house of your dreams and desire, your yellow sapphire is right here, okay? So this is gifted also. It's very important that amulets, um, you know, not that it's very important, but it is one key factor, okay? A secret sauce, you know, when it's gifted. So both are gifted to you. Now, um, however, okay, without urging you, I believe that I don't know because they didn't put me the specific date here, but I know it's a cut off because I did a previous reading. It's five o'clock, um, either on the I don't really know, okay, but just don't wait, okay. Um, if you see it, because have, we have a few and then add it to your cart, okay. I, I think it's either the 26, but I don't know where you're at. Uh, meaning, is it in Australia, the other side of the world? It's already 26, but it's a 5 p.m. Pacific time, okay? So let me see here, because we do ship it, okay? You have a Four of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles. That's a cutoff, meaning um, that's the end of uh, how much we're going to make, okay? 
Um, Four of Cups with the Three of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles. So they're gonna say sorry. First week of May, they're gonna say sorry, okay? Um, but you're frustrated right now, Nine of Swords. It doesn't make sense, you know. For you, what's the use of the sorry if they keep doing the same mistake, right? But they want to be with you, Six of Cups. They don't want to go separate. No, not at all. Um, Six of Swords with the Nine of Swords. You're frustrated because, you know, like you have spent so much time with your person. And from what I'm seeing here, it's like they're not really um, helping something like that like they're adding more to the burden of what you're going through already financially but it's gonna turn around with the financial okay that's why i said yellow sapphire this is a wonderful gift that i'm giving you um for finances and then the love you see i told you i told you they do love you now how do we resolve this okay lapis azuli which is i always wear which is part of this uh lucky seven is gonna be good for your relationship because saturn rules your seventh house if you want to bring stability if it's like if the relationship is always up and down normally it's not about venus it's really about saturn because saturn also is the karaka of the relationship and saturn rules your seventh so things can become in order the lapis azuli of course yes that's I always wear it. Good for any kind of partnership, yes. Okay? Especially when we're dealing with others. And of course, the most important relationship for you, for sure, considering is the person that you have a soul connection with. Six of Cups with the Ace of Cups. The person that you love. Ah, I love this. It can be resolved. Okay? It can be resolved. This is what I'm seeing. But I gotta go. Okay? So make sure to check it out. I'll tag this in a card for this video. It is right now uh, around one something. And then, uh, yeah, so 5 o'clock when it's cut off, I think, for this. Okay, but I'll check uh, check it check it out. Um, I'll see you guys again. This is a wonderful start of your May readings. There's more coming this month. And I'll see you guys again.